Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Tyler W, and today I'm here to teach you the inward bass. <laughs> Inward bass is a technique that I like to use and try to incorporate into my routines in new and unique ways, as well as I try to push it in order to find new variations that I can do this with. At the time of me filming this video, the inward bass is a very popular technique among many beatboxers, and in my opinion, is kind of the new liberal trend that's going around. Regardless of it being a popular technique, it began somewhere, and some of the most notable beatboxers who use it are Marcus, B-Art, and Villain, so if you have time, make sure you go check those guys out because they kill it. Inward bass is similar to throat bass in that it's done inwards, but it's the same kind of techniques that are used. Now, I don't have a tutorial for throat bass yet, but when I do, I'll have a link right about here so you guys can go reference that. Because it's like throat bass, you could tweak it in many different ways in order to get many variations. Some of the variations that I use include the inward growl, mm -hmm. the inward hip hop, the inward bass and the inward case near together, <laughs> the inward bass click rolls, <laughs> and something I've been working on a lot, something that I've been trying to perfect, the inward high bass. <laughs> Now before I try to begin teaching the sound, I'm going to preface this by saying the sound is kind of difficult to get, so do not push yourself. If your vocal cords begin to hurt, stop. There's no need to push yourself through the pain because you can just take a break, take a few hours, drink some tea, have some honey, or just, you know, if it hurts still after that, sleep on it. Whenever I'm doing this and my vocal cords start to hurt, I stop. Also, this is a rather difficult thing to explain, so I'm going to try to explain on how I learned it, and hopefully that it helps you guys. I'm going to begin by teaching the inward growl, the mm -hmm. And once you get this sound down, those techniques can be applied to every other single variation that I'm going to try to explain today. So to begin with the inward growl, what I recommend is first by exhaling all the air you have in your lungs, and then taking a really strong, heavy inhale, but don't get lightheaded because that can happen. <laughs> but when you do it... When you do it, you might hear some kind of growling going on with your chest and your throat, because that's the sound that we're trying to get. If you don't, what I recommend is either try and do it stronger, or try try tightening your vocal cords, and try make, doing some kind of vocalization inwards, because that's really what you need to do. Once you kind of get the feel of where the growling is coming from, I need you to kind of focus on that. So be like, Because ah, ah, really, when you're doing this sound, it's just breathing in strong, so you're vibrating your vocal cords back and forth. And you can do different variations after that, but that's the primary focus when you're trying to learn the sound. So that's how I went about learning the inward growl, so I hope that helps you guys. And once you got that, we can move on to different variations. Once you guys got that, we can move on to different variations like the hip hip hop hop. So for the hip hip hop hop, you're going to want to say the words hip or hop inwards while doing your inward growl. And focusing your mouth positioning like hip hop, hip hip hop hop. And so for that, it really is just a focus on your pronunciation of the words, and you can do any different words in words, but those are just the ones that I'm going to show for now. The hip, hip, hop, hop, hip. And your mouth positioning. It's really all you got to do to learn that one. Next one we're going to learn is the inward case snare with the inward growl. The <laughs> now to learn this, you're really just comboing your inward bass growl that you've already learned with an inward case snare, which... I don't have a tutorial for it yet, but when I do, I will have one right here for you guys. So, the next technique that I'm going to try to show is the, which is the inward bass and inward click roll, which is widely used by B-Art. Now, this technique is, again, once you have your inward growl, you can combo that with an inward click roll, the, which when I make a tutorial, I have another link for it right here so you guys can learn that and then come back here and combo them together. And so when doing that sound, it's just, or now the next sound is the inward high bass which is one that I try to push a lot and it's going to sound like now this sound has the potential to hurt more than a normal inward growl so when you're doing this again if it hurts stop so when you guys do your inward growl what you can do is you feel your vocal cords vibrating around the middle of your throat the if you guys want to obtain a higher pitch, you're going to have to vibrate higher up in your throat and constrict your vocal cords tighter. So, 
So that's about all there is to learn of the inward base, guys. I hope it helped. If it did not, please comment below and leave me with your concerns so I can answer them. Um, please tell me if there's anything I can do differently with these videos in order to teach better, to try to explain anything better I can. Again, I hope this helped. It's just how I learned it, and I'm hoping that it can help you guys push. If you guys learn from this video, please post videos and link me to them so I can see how you guys are doing. But as always, please like the video, comment, and share the video, as well as subscribe to my channel so I'm going to continue to uploading tutorials. If you have any requests, please comment them below too. But uh, have a good day, guys. Boom, I'm the Kraken and I'm gonna hunt you down. <coughs>